Welcome back to the Old History Project. Today, we're gonna to go visit an abandoned cemetery. I think this is a true abandonment because this is on the TVA Wildlife Management Area called Noeton. It's over here in Granger County. Most people might know it as Circle Park. Uh, but anyway, I don't know what we'll find up there. But uh, before we set out on our little journey here, uh, just remember that we're going into the wildlife always take protection you know you don't know what you're gonna run up against you know I'm sure everybody knows somebody that want to go hiking with them maybe tell somebody where you're going you know just always be safe and be wary of where you go so just to give you guys a little background about this area so this is in Granger County Tennessee uh, most of this area most of this water here wasn't actually here 80 years ago this area was flooded in the 1940s whenever they created the uh, Remember they created Cherokee Dam, and so that impounded a lot of this, and the floodplain was really, really high, so they bought up a lot of the land like this in anticipation for that. They bought up a lot of people's houses, and I've got a lot of, I've got on my own family story about how they bought my great-great-grandparents' land over a place in Hawkins County, which I covered that in a previous video about a place called Bridgeport in Hawkins County. So anyway, the, the floodplain for Cherokee Lake, you know, via the impoundment of the Holston River was pretty insane. So we're not to the, any of the cool stuff yet, but there's an old road bed back here and an old railroad bed. So I hope you guys do like this video, but while we're walking through here, just enjoying the scenery, uh, please keep in mind that I do run a podcast, which you can subscribe to if you want to support the project. But also, you know, just be sure you like, share, and subscribe this video. You know, just to show your friends, hey, this is where I go hunting at. This is what this dude found. So, right here personally is a lot of, this is a nice little cove in the summertime. Right about now I'd be under a good portion of water, as you can tell over there. But, uh, this is a nice little cove. Lots of people come to swim and camp. And I'm honestly surprised at how little trash there is. So, if you know where this place is and you come out here and camp, thank you for not littering. Because as a hunter, you know, an outdoorsman, it gets so ugly seeing all that trash all the time. There's just some coyote tracks. Pretty big ones, too. Must be a big boy. Alright, still got about a mile to go. So the cool thing about where we are... Is this area specifically they'll use it for like a tree sanctuary I grow trees and send them out to other places trying to help cure uh, help stop deforestation and uh, stuff like that I think they're using some of these trees from uh, Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge wildfires but don't quote me on that but that is what they do here they'll sprout up when they get so big they'll take and plant somewhere else So we're almost to the cool part. It's just right up here. So it's been one mile later since where I last cut off. Well, about a quarter of a mile. So see where we are in the middle of nowhere is some Blair Witch Project stuff. So the cemetery is that way. And as far as I know, there is no actual trail that goes to it. So I guess we're off to see the wizard. So here's the first evidence of something being back here. Random fence, you know, mile and a half back here in the middle of the woods. So unfortunately, there are no there are no headstones. I assume over 80 years, 80 years of you know neglect, deer and trees and just nature of taking care of all the stones, but. You can still see evidence from 
for where the chips are. I don't know if the casket caved in or maybe they exhumed some of these people. You just don't know. So this is pretty cool though. But if you guys do want to see who's buried here, because this is for the cemetery for the Ford family, not Henry Ford, but I believe TVA kept a record of all that stuff whenever they started to you know buy up all the land. So, but I do got to say, guy who wanted to be buried here, man, he really knew how to pick a spot. So, sorry that there's nothing back here, but there are still some other cool things I'm going to show you here on the trip back. So here's the cool thing about all oh, this way back here. So you see that little dip right there? Well, I assume that there was a house up there on top of the hill. And I'll, I'm going to do some commentary and show some maps of this area back before the TVA flood. So that right there uh, and all this used to be... Uh, a railroad bed. It's for the Morristown, Cumberland Gap, and Ohio. And um, earlier before that, it was the Paint Rock or something like that. But if you guys want me to make a video on that, like an abandoned railroad, comment down below. Because uh, I did, I done a little thing on Facebook about it the winter of last year. So it's really neat to know what all went on back here. So the other cool thing is that because right up in through, let's see, right there, right there, that's the original 25E road bed. And wow, that's so cool is because this went straight out to the original town of Bean Station and so did that. Uh, railroad there. It went to Bean Station and Rutledge, went on into Blaine and Corrieton, and then from there it tied in with the main southern line, and it went on up into uh, Middlesboro and Kentucky. It was supposed to be the longest, it's going to be the longest railroad in the south if I, uh, if I remember my research correctly. So the cool thing about this is that this is roughly the original Boone Trace, which the original 25E followed kind of kind of closely. So somewhere in here, in all this, Daniel Boone and the, and the Axe Men walks right through here, blazing a trail into Kentucky. Ain't that cool? So I know old Ken Coffey will appreciate this, even though he's probably seen this map a million times. So here is basically where we were before the flood. You can see it was actually called uh, Rocky Summit. You know, see up there where the crosshairs is, the red line that's going to the crosshairs, that's actually the road that we took to get to the cemetery roughly. And that was actually already a road back in 1935 when this map was made. And that dotted line, I guess, was a dirt road or something like that, went all the way up to 25E. And so just a little... You know, just, to, just to put this in perspective, all of that is basically now underwater. There is no Cosby Church, Crosby School. There's no Rocky Summit Church. I mean, the foundations are still there if you know where to look. I found them. But this is still so cool to me, you know, that I've known this for years, but some people might not. And so this next map here is from 1895. So before 25E was a thing, this roughly followed, th this is basically the Boone Trace, the original wagon road. And we were walking on that. And the railroad, which was established, I think, in 1883. And if you guys want me to see me do a video on this, please comment below. But the railroad followed the stage road all the way out to Bean Station and then beyond. So this is also cool. You can see here all the ferry, names of the ferries in the Hamlin County, like Noe Ferry, Long Ferry. And roughly where the Red Crosshairs is, is right about where we were. Now, this is a hand-drawn map, so. 
And so then, you know, just to jump back to an overhead map, th this is what it looks like today. If you look that up on Google Earth, the red line represents the railroad roughly, and the orange line represents 25E, with the white line representing the path that we took to get there, and the blue dot representing the cemetery. Now the cemetery is a little, it's a little bit up on top of the hill more so than right there, but uh, you guys get the idea. It's about a about a mile and a half there and a mile and a half back, so we got a good exercise, about three miles today. So I do go hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you made it this far, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell uh, button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.